Almighty God, you are my Holy Lord. No matter what I face, when troubles come my way, I will praise your name. No matter what I face, even in deep waters, I will praise you, Lord. No matter what I face, when struggles come my way, I will praise your name. Good morning, everybody. God bless you. And I welcome you to this beautiful morning. And I believe it's Friday morning that the Lord has made for us. We will rejoice and be glad in it and praise the name of Jesus that has done us well. May the name of our Father be exalted in Jesus' name. You know, there are ways that believers become too over uh, 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 positive in their declaration. There are some simple things that they should, they should present uh, and use it to affirm their love for Christ. They will switch it around. <laughs> Hallelujah. And they forgot that the Bible says that when you walk through fire, when you walk through waters, I'll be with you. So there's nothing wrong when you say, no matter what comes my way. It was Paul that say, even death and death and peril or sword, nothing shall separate me from the love of Christ. So sing that song without mixing it. The person that God gave that inspiration to sing that song sang it well. You know, like, no matter what I face, when success come my way. So it's only when success come your way that you praise God. No, when troubles come your way, you will stand for Christ. When tribulation come your way, you will stand for Christ. When struggles of life come your way, you will not compromise. You will stand for Christ. Hallelujah. God bless you. A verse this morning is taken from Romans chapter number 12 and verse number 15. The Bible says, Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. In the English dictionary, that's what you call sympathize and that's what you call empathize. What the difference between the two as it relate to these scriptures today? Sympathize means you're on the other side. You just just wishing people well. Huh? You don't know how it feels. You don't know what they are going through. You don't even bother to know. You don't ask any question. Sympathizing for people can just simply say, sorry, oh, we'll keep you in our thought and in our prayer. That's an American slogan, we'll keep you in our thought. And they will never mention that person in the place of prayer. We keep it as you are sympathizing with them. That is not Bible way. Huh? When you come to Christianity, the word empathize is the right word. Meaning, even though that thing did not happen to you, you try to understand how they are feeling and you feel with them and you feel for them. Are you hearing me? And please know that it is wrong for you to tell someone, I know how you are feeling. You have not been through that thing. Are you hearing me? You have never experienced the loss of a child. If you don't know what to say, just keep quiet. You have never experienced the loss of a spouse. You never experienced the loss of a dear one. You don't know what to say. Don't tell people, I know how you are feeling. That's the wrong way of empathizing with people. Hallelujah. Instead of using such words that you are not even sure about, how about you telling them, the Lord knows how you are feeling right now. And the Lord will put the right word in your spirit beyond the words of men. That is more consoling and comforting than you telling them you know what they're feeling if you have never experienced that thing in your life. Hallelujah. And the Bible is saying to us this morning, rejoice with them that rejoice. When it is well with people, rejoice with them. Are you hearing me? That is the attitude of a believer. When it is well with them, even when they're celebrating those things that you are still believing God to have, rejoice with them. Are you hearing me now? Rejoice with them. Even when they are giving testimony of what you are dreaming you will ever come to see in your lifetime, rejoice with them. Don't begin to despise what they are celebrating even when you don't even have half of it. Like the spirit of jealousy and envy. And when you have that kind of spirit, nothing good can ever come your way. Because whatever you detest in your spirit can never happen to you. But whatever you celebrate and embrace in your spirit, you naturally attract can I repeat that? Whatever you celebrate and you rejoice with in your spirit, you will naturally attract that thing into your life. So, when it is well with people huh, that they are married, they have their children, they have their green card, they bought their houses, they bought their vehicles, they graduated from school, they gave back to a child, rejoice with them. Expand your heart of joy. 
I say, Lord, I thank you on behalf of this fellow. And in the other way, knowing that in life there's always a twist. There are times you have some great moments. There are times you have some challenging moments. When people are going through those challenging moments, feel for them. Empathize for them. Are you hearing me? Pray for them. When you tell them you are in our thought and our prayer, please do so. Leave them up in the place of prayer. And have the Holy Spirit to minister to their heart. Hallelujah. Feel for people. When people are going through grieving moments, feel for them. When people are going through tough and terrible times, feel for them. If you can't do anything practically to help them in that current situation, at least you can pray for them. You can send them gracious words. You do not know where that word will touch in the midst of people down times. That's the word for us this morning. I pray as we process it and do the needful. May the Lord keep and preserve us all in Jesus' name. It is well with you. The grace to keep this word. The grace to process and to work with it. The Lord bestow that grace upon everyone hearing my voice. In the name of Jesus. Now be blessed. Now be favored. Now be lifted. Now be sustained. Now be empowered. May the grace of God enable your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Be favored by God and by man. Today, as you rejoice with those that rejoice, I pray every good thing happening out there will find expression in your life. In the name of Jesus, I cover you and yours with the blood of Jesus. No evil shall befall you. No accident, no sickness or disease will come near your path. The Almighty will preserve and sustain you and you shall return back blessed. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. God bless you. Please share with one another and enjoy the beauty of this day. Maranatha.